I figured out another way to eat carbonara. Carbonara pizza. Oh my Bacon, God. egg, and cheese on pizza. We picked up a pizza dough, and that's a great tip. If you don't like the quality of the dough you get in the grocery store, go to your favorite local pizzeria and ask them if you can buy some extra dough. You can pop it in the freezer, and whenever you want to make it, just pop it in the fridge that morning. It'll defrost during the day. When you want to work with it, let it come to room temperature, right? So it's easy to handle. Right. And then you've rolled it out here. He cheated. The kitchen girls helped. That's why it looks so good. Well, th I wanted to throw it in the air, but they, they won't let they you. They just wouldn't let you, right? Because you're right. so talented like that. Anyway, they, they rolled it out nicely. You want to show them how you can transfer it to the pizza? Yes. Thing? Well, first, you're supposed to sprinkle cornmeal on it. A little cornmeal for texture. For texture. Is that <clears> enough? <throat> on your pizza tray. Is that good? And then the secret, they said, is to fold it like that. And fold, it fold it like it that, and then put it on here, and unfold it. Ta-da! Boy, that was easy. Over here, this is Italian bacon called pancetta, and you get it right in the deli, and you have it sliced as thick as bacon. If you can't find it, you can certainly use bacon. The only difference is bacon smoky flavored, and pancetta isn't. It's just rolled cured meat that's similar to bacon, but not smoked. Brush the uh, pancetta renderings, fat in other words, brush a little of the fat down over the pizza. You brown this up in a skillet with the, just a touch of EVO, a little extra virgin olive oil, to, just to get it going. And you let it go until it's pretty crisp, but it'll cook up a touch more in the oven. Okay. Then, honey, take the tines of a fork and just poke it around so you don't get big bubbles in the pizza. Okay. Now, at this point, you put it in the oven so it gets crispy, then you top it and put it back, because we like extra crispy pizza, don't we, sweetheart? Oh, yes. That, okay, that's good. That's enough. You're giving it a condition, okay? <laughs> pop it that's in the fine. oven. Pop it in the Making oven. Making Swiss pizza. Exactly, making Swiss pizza. Put it down on the bottom, pull out the other one. We're cheating, we got a ta-da. You got a ta-da, yep. Well, you have to have it halfway so I you know. know what to do next. Put it's it only an here. hour show. Gotcha. Now, will you separate the eggs, because I stink at that. I'll try. We need two yolks in the bowl over here. Okay. Bacon and egg pizza, oh. pasta carbonara's coal miner. Already screwed it up. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, egg gods, can we have another egg, please? Make that two. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you, oh goddess of the eggs. <laughs> okay. Right, let's try again. No, All right, you no, do it. no, no, no. Sorry. Don't trust me? Yeah, I mean, I had better odds than you. Let's let's see. Oh, it's easy. I did it. Yeah. So anyway, as I was saying, it's coal miners' pasta, pasta carbonara. It's what they used to eat in the morning, actually, before they go to work or at night when they come home. So this is a breakfast, lunch, or dinner meal. And marry no dummy. But, yeah, yeah, I'm hooking you up with pizza for breakfast, so there you go. Okay. Grate some garlic, couple of cloves of garlic. If you have a microplane at home, that's one of these little utensils, you can grate it, or you can just finely chop it. Then you can add a couple of handfuls of pecorino romano in there. Mix, Mix that together okay. and slather it all over the top of that. I'm gonna grab some provolone out of the fridge. Slather it on there, honey. Just do the big dump and then slather it all around. Oh, my gravy is this good. You're gonna love this. Gonna put the provolone all over it. Thank you very much. How good does that look? How many cheeses we got? Three cheeses. I like it. Provolone on the top, then you scatter the pancetta all over. Put it in the oven, turns brown in a few minutes, and you put some parsley on it, and it's done.